Hey man, what's going on? Oh hey, yeah, I'm just looking at my new revolver here. It's a reproduction of single action army. I'm pretty excited about it. Nice. We'll run the action on that thing. Run the action? All right. Three clicks? Really? That's trash. Why is it trash? Everybody knows that if you're going to have an authentic single action army reproduction, it's got to have four clicks. Like this. What makes four clicks better? The four clicks stand for Colt. Ready? C O L T. Colt. That's right. Well, that is a really cool trick. I am glad that your gun can spell. Don't you think you're getting a little hypocritical about the authenticity stuff when you wear a hat shaped like that to every cowboy match we go to? Yeah, well, I like this style of hat, okay? Hello folks and welcome to the Adventure Cowboy Channel. I'm Clayton Markser. In today's video we're going to be talking about single action army reproduction revolvers and the controversy surrounding the infamous three click versus four click. After you see how this works and you watch my video then you can decide do I want a three click or do I want a four click? What am I going to be happy with? And no matter which one you choose you can get them from Cimarron Firearms Company. The Model P revolvers from Cimarron are the single action army reproductions built by Uberti in Italy. They also sell another single action army reproduction under the Frontier name, which is manufactured by Pieta, also in Italy. But when it comes to the Uberti single action army reproductions, there's a lot of controversy right now. While I was being humorous in that intro, as kind of a tongue in cheek nod to a lot of the uh, chatter that is in the online forums, specifically in Facebook groups, um, the reality is there are options. For those of you who are diehards who want the four clicks, there is an option. The only Uberti built four click single action army reproduction option currently is from Cimarron Firearms. It's their old model or any of their Evil Roy signature editions. I'm going to roll in some graphics here that explain how the three-click Uberti safety hammer works. And I would like to thank Uberti for letting me use this footage. I got permission all the way from the very top to use this. This is their footage. But I think it's helpful and I think it'll help you understand how this works. A new retractable firing pin incorporates the benefits of the modern transfer bar safety system while faithfully recreating an original 1873 Colt. This new technology allows a cartridge to be fired only when continuous pressure is exerted on the trigger from the fully cocked position. Without constant pressure, the firing pin retracts and cannot ignite the primer. This technology... Now we're going to take a look at the Cimarron Model P revolvers, the pre-war and the old model. Now there's different models that they sell in both of these versions, but these are the two different generations that they sell. I apologize for the lighting in here. The wind has been horrendous, and in order to get this done in the time frame that I need to, I just decided to come into the shop and get out of the wind and put on some lights. This video has two purposes. The first purpose is to showcase the Cimarron Model P revolvers and the differences between the old model and the pre-war generations. The second purpose of this video is to address some of the misconceptions and mistruths being put out there on the online forums, specifically in the Facebook groups for Old West style cowboy guns. I'm not going to call out any group in particular, but in every group this misconception is being put out there, so I want to set the record straight. Now on these Model P's, I'm going to explain a little bit of the differences between the pre-war and the old model. The old model, now this is just an original finish that Cimarron sells. You can get the old model in a blue just like this one. But 
in the actual physical features of it, the old model, you can tell, has this full circle, what people will call the bullseye ejector rod. And on the retaining pin for the cylinder, it's actually a retaining screw for the cylinder. This one's got a little bit of a knurled knob. You can get just the standard screw that fits in there, but the knurled knob's kind of nice if you uh, take apart your gun fairly often to clean it. Um, and then the frame is pretty much the same. This is what they originally would have called the black powder frame. And then on the pre-war, this was a newer generation. The original pre-war Colts came with a medallion on the side, a thicker front sight than the old model would have had. And on the ejector, you can kind of see it there, it's a half moon ejector. The pre-war also has a spring-loaded screw on the side of the frame rather than the actual screw through the bottom to hold the cylinder pin in. Those are the basic differences between the old model and the pre-war. Probably one of the biggest mistruths that is out there on these forums is that Uberti no longer makes four-click actions in their revolvers. That is not true. Uberti does make four-click action revolvers, but they are only available through Cimarron Firearms. Now I'm going to reiterate what I just stated. Uberti Factory still produces four-click actions on revolvers. They are only available through Cimarron Firearms, and I'm going to explain that in just a minute. Now, for all the other importers that are out there that import Uberti-built single-action army revolvers, the hammer will now be the three-click safety hammer. Mr. Mike Harvey from Cimarron likes to call this the fully automatic safety hammer. Now to explain why Cimarron is the only company that will import a four-click Uberti. What happened was that due to some legal issues, I don't know the exact details of which, but it basically boiled down to some lawsuits that involved claimed accidental discharges against Uberti. And Uberti decided that rather than fighting and fighting and fighting all of this stuff in the courts for a long time and spending tons of money, they would just build all of their revolvers with this new three-click safety hammer. Because Cimarron Firearms has probably one of the strongest relationships, if not the strongest relationship of any importer with Uberti Manufacturing, Cimarron was able to negotiate with Uberti, and this is what they told Uberti, and this is in quotes, so let me get this right here. That isn't going to work for us. Our customers demand authenticity, end quote. And I'm sure there was more said there, and after some back and forth and negotiations, the compromise that Cimarron Firearms and Uberti Manufacturing came up with was that all of the old model Cimarrons would still have the four-click action, as well as all of the Evil Roy competition models, and that covers the pre-war and the old model Evil Roy competition models. They all have the four-click hammer. All of the pre-war model P's from that point forward, so this is a couple of years ago, we're going to have the three-click safety hammer. So to wrap up this little portion of the video that deals with the mistruths that are going on online. Uberti built single action army reproductions with a four click hammer are still available. They are produced only for Cimarron firearms. All of the other companies that import single action army revolvers built by the Uberti factory in Italy have a three click safety hammer. If you want a single action army reproduction with the four click, it is still available today from Cimarron Firearms in their old models and Evil Roy competition models. If you want a pre-war version from Cimarron Firearms, it will have the three click safety hammer from Uberti. This revolver is another example of a single action army reproduction that you can buy from Cimarron Firearms. This is a Pieta built revolver and the Pieta built revolvers that Cimarron sells are under the Frontier 
name in their catalog. This one happens to be a Buffalo Bill commemorative. It's chambered in 45 Colt and it's laser engraved. As you can see, it's got the four clicks, but it's a pre-war because it has the spring retaining pin here. It has the half moon ejector and the thicker front sight. All of the Pieta built single action army revolvers that Cimarron sells will have a four click hammer. No exception. Closing out this tabletop section of the video, I just want to reiterate that if you're a diehard and you want the authenticity, everything you do begins and ends with authenticity, you can still buy four click revolvers from Cimarron Firearms. And they are Model P old models, or all of the Evil Roy competition models, or you can buy their Pieta built line, which is a Frontier. All of the Frontiers will have a four click hammer. And then if you want a pre-war built by Uberti, they will all come with a three click safety hammer. So there are the facts and there are your options. Both of these Cimarron Model P revolvers functioned really good for me today. They shot really well. There was no difference between the three click pre-war version or the four click old model in the way they shoot. They just shoot, they shoot good. I am just as accurate with the three click as I am with a four click. I've never had a malfunction with either. Thank you for watching this video on the Cimarron Model P revolvers and the three click versus four click controversy. Go shoot and have fun.